Hello friends, welcome back to a brand new video of Mayfu's vlog. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like and share. So guys, I'm all dressed up so you can see we are going to be exploring Bahrain. Yeah, so that's what we are here for, right? So yeah, and uh, we don't, I don't know where we are going to go. But we, anyway, we are going out with Nasir Ka. So yeah. So guys. So we are all ready. So we are waiting for uh, Nasirka and uh, my father. Oh, the doorbell! Uh, the doorbell rang. So I guess it's gonna be them. So yeah. guys right now we are here in the Bahrain fort which is an ancient heritage site And guys, when we go to the Bahrain Fort, we can know and understand about a lot of ancient and historical things. And another name of this Bahrain fort is Khaled Al Bahrain. And the Bahrain fort has the remains of the Dilmun civilization. And when we are talking about the Dilmun civilization, they are very remarkable as well as very wealthy merchants. And one more much example is that it has been built very closely to the sea. This is because to make uh, you know the tradings, the water tradings, much easier. So guys, so we came to this fort and this museum. So, but it was already closed because it's Ramadan. So yeah, so we couldn't enter. So we're a bit sad about that. So yeah, we are just exploring the out. Like we can see it, right? So actually, uh, when we come here, we can know about the Bahrain's history when the British peoples and all, uh, you know, came to Bahrain and took the position and all. You guys know that, right? So yeah. So it's actually a very quiet and a beautiful place. Because of Ramadan, uh, like, you know, this place has a lot of tourism. But because of Ramadan, I guess people are not there. Only we are here. It's like, uh, it's very quiet. And yeah. So this is the site museum. Even that is also closed. 
so we couldn't enter even the fort also so yeah guys in this fort in this fort uh british people were staying like it's like their cottage so yeah Bahrain's fort has great historical importance due to its use of the capital of the Dilmun civilization as well as its building. You know that marvelous beautiful site that you can see from here uh, beneath the tree and uh, you know even uh, the Portuguese garrison and the commercial port uh, everything makes this uh, building or this fort a very unique as well as a marvelous uh, building apart from all the other forts. Guys, near this fort, there was a, you know a small kind of like a farm, which has vegetables and all. And so we just came here to explore this area too. So yeah, and Horse. look at that, there's horses. Oh, look at that, there's a small horsey. Wow! <laughs> oh, look at them. There are these purple. Uh, so, guys, there is these purple cabbages here. So, look at that. So yeah, so we are picking out. <laughs> There is like lot of varieties of plants and veggies growing out here. So yeah. Look at that. Don't know what it is. I don't know what's the name of this thing. <laughs> like I guess. This is palak, right? I guess. Look at this mint. There are like lot of mint here. And like the most uh like you know extraordinary thing that i saw here is this mulberries and i'm like i was so excited when i saw this because we can never see like this in qatar and so we can never see this mulberries in qatar and all like mostly if he goes to farms and all we can see 
when i saw it i was so excited so they asked us to pick and eat but it's if uh, ramadan now right